the Nintendo Switch. The upcoming console of Nintendo, the one that could change the whole market if it succeeds. And I played the console in Sweden, and my trip started off a bit weird, since I had to fly to Stockholm and from there to Gothenburg, my final destination. We made it. <laughs> Food. And beer, that's slightly shitty. But still, uh, my standards are way too high, I'm Dutch. Hey! Alright, drinking beer with Wiley. This beer is slightly shitty. <laughs> it tastes watered down. Water isn't a good term for your beer. But... I paid money for it, so it's going down my throat. But it's still slightly shitty. Look, I still drank it. Falcon, Falcon, you're okay. Ish. Not totally, it's kind of garbage. But it doesn't matter, it was good enough. Good enough. Look at how long this hallway is. What the Why? Why is this hallway so long? Look, Sweden. Sweden, all for you to enjoy. Oh look, that's me. Eventually I landed in Gothenburg and met up with Commonwealth Realm and Zeltec and we went to the press event the next morning to test the switch. <laughs> and when we arrived, we found this in front of the building. Cheers mate. Look at him. Much Italian. What are you doing? For real? Oh, now we kind of know how big his hands are. Now we know for sure. Oh no, it makes... <laughs> what the f***? There's speakers here. Oh, how amazing. <laughs> oh, so cool. oh, how amazing! Welcome. Oh no! They even had some sort of mini museum with old Nintendo consoles and games. After this we got inside the hall and it was packed with people and multiple games to play on the system like ARMS, Mario Kart, Breath of the Wild and more. You could play in every mode possible, so of course we tried them all. I started out with the most important game there, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and actually played the entire demo in handheld mode. Overall I liked the handheld mode a lot, controlling Link was easy and I actually fought with the step tellers as well and had no problems at all. I expected the analog sticks to be small, but they're actually better than I thought. In terms of size, they're between the one from the 3DS and the PS Vita. And the button layout and holding the console wasn't a problem as well. It wasn't too small nor too big and fitted quite nicely in my hands. And Breath of the Wild was amazing. The visuals were very nice, it's the best 900p that you will ever see in your life. And this version that we played wasn't even the final one. I mostly did fighting and exploring in my demo time and had no problem with any of the features or mechanics in the game. The fighting is great and I could easily maneuver around, hit enemies and even the fight with the step tellers was flawless. After this I played some Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in handheld mode. Overall this is just Mario Kart from the Wii U. But the frame rate is better and in handheld mode you can play it perfectly. I even ended up being first when I played it. Also, the new battle mode they added was glorious. And to be honest, if you don't own Mario Kart 8 with all the DLC for the Wii U, you should certainly buy the Lux if you're gonna pick up a Nintendo Switch. It's worth it. Now another game I played was the new Splatoon with the Pro Controller. And that controller? Man, it's just great. It certainly rivals the GameCube controller. The game itself is very similar to the first one, but the new weapons that they added, like the Splat Duelies, were a lot of fun and actually useful. I like the Splat Duelies very much, but overall we didn't see a lot of new things and we only played one map. So we will have to wait and see what the full game offers. Now there were also two games there which I had mixed feelings about, but they did spark my interest. ARMS and Snipper Clips. 
Our first played Snipper Clips together with Zeltek, and as you can see, we are having loads of fun with this. The puzzles were challenging enough for us, and we actually had to work together to solve them. There were parts where we got stuck and really had to think for a second on what we should do. I just hope you can play this game together through the online servers as well. That would be amazing. We both used one Joy-Con, and I know most people are worried that they're going to be small. Too small. But to be honest, it's not a problem at all. You can easily use them and both me and Zeltek had no problems using them and playing the game. The only thing that confused me sometimes was the button layout of this game, but that was mostly my own fault. After this, me and Zeltek also played some ARMS, and we both didn't really know what to expect from this game. But I was very excited to play it at least, and as soon as we got the hang of it, man oh man, we loved it so much. Both me and Zeltek were very impressed by it. This game can be as complicated and as simple as you want it to be, and that's the best thing about it. And you can even play this game on a controller, so you don't have to use the motion controls, so this can really become a great game for competitive, just like Smash. I'm just curious what kind of modes the game will have. I hope a single player story mode and an online tournament mode. So yeah, this game has lots of potential. Now for the last Switch game we played, which was fun, but not really worth the money overall. 1-2 Switch. The HD Rumble feature is insane. It feels so realistic, so I like that a lot. But the games are a bit too simple in my opinion. If you host a lot of parties and stuff like that, you should buy it. Otherwise, just don't. So that's essentially it. I was really sad that Sonic Mania wasn't at the event, but overall it was great. And the next day, hundreds of people showed up to play the console. So yeah, there is certainly hype. If I have to mention two strong points for the console, then it has to be the fact that you can use it anywhere, and that it has so many features like the gyroscope, touchscreen and the HD rumble. And the downside would be the fact that it doesn't come with a game. This should have put 1-2 Switch in the box with it. Overall, I'm mostly looking forward to get my hands on Breath of the Wild and ARMS when they release. This console feels like the beginning of a new era for Nintendo, and I'm curious, what's going to happen next? Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed this short video on a Nintendo Switch and my time with it. If you liked it, leave a like, tell me in the comments down below what you think about the Switch and the games that are coming out for it, I would love to hear your opinion, and um, just tell me if you think it's going to be shit or if it's going to be super dope.